My favorite pair of yours that I wanted to ask you about in particular were your flame pandas. Those things in, in um, I believe it's olive shinky shell cordovan. Mm -hmm. Oh man, like talk to me about those. Those are- Yeah, those are kind of like the crown jewel of my hoard at the moment. Um, yeah. Just in terms of build quality and just like attention to detail and all that stuff. I mean, uh, I waited a long time for those things and I'm, I know anybody else that has them now has waited a long time for them. The wait time is just getting longer, but a while back I saw some other people starting to get the, the flame pandas and I, I heard some stuff about, you know, just his process and things like that as he started to become known. And so I was like, I'm going to put it in order with this guy before I was hoping to before he got really big, you know, and I'm glad I did at the time because now I think the, the weight's double what it was for me. But I was like, if I'm going to go and spend that kind of money and wait that long for something, I want to make sure that it's not only unique, but also pretty wearable because I don't want something that I can only pull out once every so often. I want it to be wearable, but I also wanted to get in, in like the coolest, like most unique leather that I could think of that I could still wear. And so I had seen another pair that he had posted on Instagram in that shinky, I think it was shinky, but it was, it was olive shell, basically used that as a template and just changed some of the details. It was a plain toe, the Dr. Soul um, outsold. So I asked him for that. When he came in, I was like, I've lifted that box up and I was like, this feels like twice as heavy as any other box of boots that I've ever picked up. They're so solid. He, he said it was a single, a single midsole and I can't imagine based on that, what a double midsole from him would be like, you'd probably be like this far off the ground. But those boots are so heavy. They're so like tank-like, but then they're really comfortable too, which is super nice. Um, and I'm kind of torn and I don't know if you have this or not. I, no, I know you don't have this because I've seen your pictures, but you get a pair of like really nice boots and you struggle, at least I struggle between uh, wanting to like get them out there, get some marks on them and things like that, or just keep them like for the best occasions and, and keep them pristine. <laughs> Yes. I think I've kind of found the line with those so far. I wear them. I, I don't baby them, but at the same time, I'm not going to like go out and slosh through a pond with them or something like that. Right. <laughs> but what you're talking about there, man, that is the, that is the endless struggle. Like how far do I push these boots? How soon do I start really wearing them? You know what I mean? How do you properly patinate a pair of boots? That's, that's a question that's always on my mind. And honestly, it comes down to obviously the individual, your individual preferences. But then beyond that, it comes down to the type of leather. It comes down to, you know, the weather outside. It comes down to so many things. But I agree with you. I think that your call to like sort of keep those sort of nice and just sort of be gentle with them for the first maybe few months or, or years even, and then maybe start going rough on them. I don't know. Well, I've seen the way you've treated some of your like even your shell and stuff and yeah. just like put it through the ringer and then it comes out on the other side and you put some conditioner on it or something and I'm like man that looks amazing you know but I'm not sure I want to do that with these just yet. I've been saying it for a long time I need some olive shell in my life because I'm, I'm just I'm partial to green I love green mm -hmm. I love earth tones so so yeah I'd love actually through Tahura I just put in an order for some some monkey boots from him in it's not shell but it's olive horse butt from Chloe and okay. it's really like vibrant green color so I'm excited yeah. about those but still I need I, I still want the shell but you know I'll, I'll wait I'll wait for the right opportunity I guess for, <laughs> for that. <laughs> well yeah with something like that you want it to be uh you know you really want all the pieces to come together you know the, the maker the the style of boot the last you know the, the leather the stitching the the well choice all that like it has to all be perfect for for something that's you know because that, that's not just a boot you buy off the cuff like that's something you construct you know so true you, you plan for that you know what i mean that's not one that you just see online and you pull the trigger like that's a boot that you plan for